So good afternoon all. Uh, so we call ourselves as a PIC team. So PIC basically, you know, it's an alphabet for our three authors, Patel, Ayer, and Kumar. Myself, Patel, Kumar, and Ayer. Yeah. <clears throat> so we, we, you know, we, we had an idea like uh, in a cloud foundry, so know what you have and view where they are, right? So in a multi cloud foundry environment, uh, that's what our idea is. So my problem statement, like you know, currently in any enterprise big organization, we have thousands of applications running across uh, multi cloud foundry sites, like you know, six, seven sites, and my challenge in the operational or a, or, or a, you know, on a command level center where an application desk sees, like if if my one of the DC or cloud foundry site is broken, in due to whatever reason. Uh, the statement here is, you know, I, I wouldn't know that my application is present in which all other DCs which are live, okay? So here, we, 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 we idea is like uh, a small GUI uh, where I can type an uh, application name and it, it can show me the status of what, whatever the health status or availability status in other DCs. So that that's the whole uh, uh, idea behind what you, are, you know, we have done so far. And challenges like, you know, uh, we don't know, like, what are the applications impacted if one CF goes down, one one cloud front sites, you know, site go down? So in, in that perspective, we 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 you know we have collated an idea and uh, and more detail how we did. You know, I I want my colleague Kumar to you know take it forward. So this is our idea and basically this is our prototype. Sure. Thanks. Sure. sure. Thanks, Patel. So. Um, I'll, I'll go with the so proposed solution. So uh, so one one way of um, uh, doing this is we came up with this um, uh, problem. So we are facing currently like uh, we can only log in into one particular uh, uh, site or data center and to get the health information or any stats, right? So to have that, uh, we can uh, we thought of building a, a UI or a, or a uh, and it has an agent which gathers uh, all the application stats and uh, other health check information from various uh, sites or uh, availability zone. And it will um, probably share that across the uh, agents, which is being deployed in individual uh, sites. From there, we'll be pulling that information into our UI. UI, or it could be integrated. It's just like a um, custom UI, and it can be later integrated with um, status UI, or we, uh, or we can do many things. Um, so this this will be like a simple search by just uh, giving a application name. It's going to uh, search across all the multiple uh, sites available, um, and it's going to give us the health. And uh, and for uh, current MVP, so since we have like a li limited uh, time constraint, so we have uh, came up with this prototype of a uh, simple UI, which uh, basically which queries and gathers all the information from across the uh, multiple uh, availability zone by executing some commands. And it, it um, it's it's going to be available. So I'll I'll quickly show a, a quick demo. And we have developed this uh, particular UI and with the taking considering the IBM cloud. So we made this of uh, IBM um, public cloud, and we created a. Let me show. Yeah, so in so we are new to IBM uh, public cloud. So uh, what we did is we we created like three uh, sites, like three different um, data centers. So one is um, each one of us has like different um, uh, different sites. So one will be from Washington D.C. The other one will be from um, Dallas. Other 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 location is from um, Germany. So right now we created um, like a uh, app called uh, PAK app, and we deployed in. Um, uh, three uh, three different centers and and also the uh, UI which we built we have deployed it okay so let me get that I have we have the both um, Yeah. 
Yeah. So we have both the UI as well as uh, the script. So uh, I can show both of them. So this is uh, just a um, simple uh, UI which gets the uh, app name. So I'm just giving here uh, PK, and this is the app which is deployed. So what it does is it goes and searches all the availability zone or sites and pulls out the information and uh, it displays. So this is for uh, like a phase one or a current MVP. Later, um, I think uh, Ira is going to explain explain about it. So this is, it gives it the app name with the current status of it, whether it's uh, started or stopped, and, and also the instance, how many instances there and uh, how many are running. Also the usage of the uh, each app, what's the route, and b basic uh, app related stats. So um, this this is kind of um, a pr uh, like a basic information. With this, we can enhance by adding more functionalities, uh, like further uh, future MVPs, like uh, like restart or uh, doing everything that like, um, I will be talking about in detail. And also, last thing I would like to show the um, the scripts, which it can be also be done by the scripts. So I can show that quickly. So, so this is uh, th this is a script which we al also have. So initially we start with the script, then we enhance to a UI. Uh, later, uh, later we can also integrate this with any other uh, uh, UI, or it could be like a custom UI which talks to all the availability zone. So what this does is it it looks for this particular app called PAK app across all the. Um, Availability zone. So first, it's uh, logging in. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have three uh, data centers. So first, it goes to um, data center one. It lo it um, it logs in and it searches. This is like behind the scene logs. I'm j just showing for you. So what happens when when the UA interact and it looks for that particular app? It says, okay, this app is running at um, uh, only one instance and this is the status of it. Then after that, it it goes and logs into the second data center and checks for this particular app and pulls out a uh, matrices like, okay, where, where is this particular uh, same app name for this particular uh, availability zone? So what's the information? So there are like two instances running, and and uh, for the next, there's, there's no app deployed. So it's not been there. So this is this is how, this is like behind the uh, behind the scene, we initially started with this script, and then we enhanced the UI, and we can do uh, many, many things. So I'll, I'll just pass on to the next uh, future use cases. Uh, to Ayer so that he can explain about the future use cases. Thanks, Kumar. Thanks, Kumar. Uh, so we started with uh, the initial um, trial on or prototype with uh, the available current sites. So in any uh, enterprise environment, you have uh, so multiple sites. So to make it more production, so what we can do is we can gather this data gathering as actually a scheduled or automated or by way of a separating it from a UI to an agent so that it will be doing a local gathering and then sharing it across the different uh, availability zone agents. Um, to enhance the user experience, you can actually, in the MVP3, we, we can actually do it with a, maybe a, another uh, UI. Any UI, we can integrate it, like maybe Stratos or something like that. And we can also, in MVP4, we can actually store and retrieve the application status and improve the performance by caching it locally and persisting across a data store. So if one site is completely down, even if connected to another UI in another Cloud Foundry instance, I will be able to get all the information about the application running on that site. And uh, we can actually also make this agent-based uh, tool as uh, an enhancement to do a do all actions, routine mundane actions or something like that, doing a health checks or restart, all these things can be done at a single console. So these are the proposed uh, enhancements, which we can visualize at this point of time. That's it. Uh, from outside, any questions we can take, if you have? Judges, any questions? Then we'll pass it to the audience if they have questions. Okay, good. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you, thanks.